In this presentation, we will take a look at Form 940 within QuickBooks. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are on the home page. We currently have the open windows open. In order to open the open windows, you go to the view drop down and the open windows list. We're going to take a look at the form 940 this time. The form 940 is a form that can be generated by QuickBooks if we have the paid version. If you have the manual version, you're testing it out, can't generally run the form 940 within it, although you can run reports and test things out in that format. Here we got the paid version, so we'll take a look at the form 940 processing. We can get in there a couple different ways. I typically go to the employees up top. Go to the payroll tax forms and W-2s and, the, and then go to the process payroll forms. That's going to open up the employee center. We're in the file forms section. Now the 940, remember, is at the end of the year. Don't get it confused with the form 941. It's going to be down here. And if we have anything, if we have everything in process for the payroll, if we set up the payroll properly, set up the payroll items properly, went through the whole interview section, set up our employees correctly and process the payroll, correctly throughout the entire year, then the form 940 should process fine by QuickBooks within QuickBooks. It's one that we often overlook because it's it doesn't it only happens at the end of the year, unlike the 941s, which will be quarterly. So just remember the end of the year, you got the 940. Uh, it's not going to be a summary of the 941s. It's going to be different uh, because it's just calculating for the FUTA federal unemployment. So if we just double click on that or we can create form, I like to just double click on it. I'm going to put it for the year 2018, which is what we are working on and say, OK, and we're going to say, OK. It'll process that form for us. And again, we can go through this this process, but it's pretty self-explanatory to, to go through this and it'll populate the numbers for us. If we have filled out, again, an entire year's worth of payroll correctly, having setting it all up correctly, have an entire worth of year's worth of payroll in the current system and then uh, having entered the data in the proper format. So we won't go through all the numbers here once again, uh, but we just want to note that. We want to be able to look at the 940 at the end of the year and possibly do some reconciliations between the 940 the nine, and the 941s and the W-2s just to, to be able to verify to ourselves that what is being generated from the payroll system from QuickBooks is looks proper, looks correct. Uh, and again, the, the level of how much we need to do that, uh, it will vary because part of the purpose of having payroll process it is that we don't have to recalculate the entire thing. However, we don't want to be completely uh, to the point where we have no idea if what's being generated is at all correct because then we're completely at the mercy of the payroll forms and, and then uh, the government if they were to question anything about it. So we want to be able to consider these and just have a, an idea, okay, does this, is this reasonable? Does this look correct? And then if there's anything that is not correct, have an idea of how we can go back and do some verifications. How can we check this out to the data within the system, to the reports, to the to the W-2s that we print, the W-3, the 941s, to get some verif verification, some check figures within it. But we can go through this, and again, this is going to be at the end of the year. We can go through this process, and it'll help us basically generate the 940. Once complete, we can then go ahead and submit this information within the QuickBooks system, again, of course, within the paid version of QuickBooks. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.